Thank you. There's a question here. Sure. Thanks a lot. Uh, Matthew Lee, Inner City Press. On behalf of the Free UN Coalition for Access, thanks a lot for the briefing and hoping that you'll do, you know, stakeouts and other things after GA meetings so we can ask, ask you more questions. But the question, what I wanted to ask you about is, I've seen your, your opening remarks on, on uh, the refugee crisis. And I'd asked you about the, you know, the candidacy for, for, you, for the, the uh, you know, next refugee commissioner process. And, and there's obviously a Danish candidate. So some people in looking at that have said Denmark's own policies have been subject to criticism by the UN system. Recently, they published an advertisement in, 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 in uh, Lebanon telling people that they won't get certain benefits if they get to the country. Prior to that, there were some switches in policies. So it's not, I mean, you may disagree, but it seems like it's not viewed as among the most welcoming of European countries. How does, how does that square with what you said? And perhaps relatedly, I've looked at the, the, the team on your website. And I wanted to know, this is a problem that, that, not problem, it's an issue for all PGAs. How many of the positions in your office are funded by the UN and how many are funded by countries, i.e. Segundit staff, and are all, all, you know, it seems like there may be six or seven that are from Denmark. Are they all funded by the Danish government? And do all the staff in your office work during this year entirely for the UN system? Thanks. I can say for sure, f uh, for myself, and that means also for the staff, we are all working for the UN system. Uh, I come from Denmark, I'm proud of that, but I'm not representing, as president of, of the General Assembly, in specific, the Kingdom of Denmark. That's, that's one thing. And uh, the, how the staff is composed, I have not the exact figures, but I think that more than half of, of the members of the staff uh, are seconded from member countries outside Denmark, a few from the UN, and a, handful, a little more than a handful from Denmark. That, that's the composition of, of, of the 30 men and women we have in the cabinet. And uh, about the, um, the Danish candidate for, uh, for UNHCR, uh, I can only recommend her. Uh, I have, uh, I, I'm not part of the decision who is brought forward to the General Assembly. It's a, a procedure of, of, of the Secretary General. But I can only add one thing to your comments on Danish politics. It was certainly not the candidate that was leader of the government that put the advertisement in the Lebanon, uh, Lebanese papers. 